The prophet Isaiah tells a story of a man who goes into the forest and cuts down a cedar tree. He chops up the tree and brings home the wood. He uses half of the freshly chopped wood to build a fire to cook his food on. But then, after dinner, he takes the rest of the wood and builds an idol out of it. When he's done, he falls down and starts to worship it. He prays to his leftover firewood, Deliver me, for you are my God. Now that's a sad story, but it's a lot like my own. My buddy Mike built my guitar. Ten years ago, he built it out of a solid piece of mahogany. He gave it to me, and I played it for years, and used it as a tool for leading corporate worship gatherings. But one day I noticed myself looking down at this block of wood, this mahogany board, and saying, You will deliver me. Music will deliver me from obscurity by helping me gain exposure and prestige. It will deliver me from a sense of worthlessness by giving me an identity. Music will deliver me from poverty by helping me make a living. Music will be my God. Isaiah responds to such foolishness with this. All who fashion idols are nothing, and the things they delight in do not profit. Their witnesses neither see nor know that they may be put to shame. Who fashions a god or casts an idol that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his companions shall be put to shame, and the craftsmen are only human. Let them all assemble, let them stand forth, they shall be terrified, they shall be put to shame together. And after years of foolish, sinful, shameful idolatry, by the grace of God, he crushed that idol, and he crushes it every day. But here's what is amazing to me. He didn't just crush it and take music away. He crushes it and redeems it. For the past few weeks, when I'm with the band backstage before we leave the gatherings, we've been praying and thanking God that he allows us to use music to worship him, when we've been guilty of using it to worship ourselves. He lets us worship him with the very thing we once worship. This story about a man worshiping a block of wood comes from Isaiah chapter 44. And here's how it ends. God says to his foolish, wicked, idolatrous people, Remember these things, O Jacob and Israel, for you are my servant. I formed you, you are my servant. O Israel, you will not be forgotten by me. I have blotted out your transgressions like a cloud and your sins like mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you.